So in this video, we're actually going to talk about while loops. Um, but we're going to talk about loops in general, and I'm just going to explain uh, what what they are more or less. So a loop in Python, or actually in any programming language, is essentially the following thing. It's a well, it's it's like a way of making code repeat itself. And the only way you can get it to stop is if it meets a certain condition. So a loop is a a loop is a bunch of instructions slash an instruction that repeats itself if slash while a condition holds true. So, for example, let's say I'm a naughty kid and uh, I've just been taught a bad swear word. Well, I might say that swear word to, let's imagine I have a brother. I might keep repeating that swear word to my brother up until the point that my father or my mother tells me that if I do that, I'm grounded. So the condition uh, that makes me continue saying this horrible word to my brother is that my parents do not yell at me but once they do yell at me that condition is now false and so I stop uh, using that swear word okay uh, another thing we could say is when we are boiling water let's say we boil it at room temperature from, from room temp I think room temperature is 23 degrees or something I don't know let's just say it's like 20 degrees well let's imagine we add one degree Celsius and we heat up the water on a loop and we keep adding one degree Celsius to the water until it gets to boiling point which is a hundred degrees Celsius. Alternatively let's say that I want to have I don't know 10 grapes yeah and I'm gonna put put grapes in my hand until I have 10 grapes. So my hand first starts off with zero grapes and I pick up a grape and I put one in my hand, so I now have one grape. I have, I then pick up another, I've got two, and I keep picking them up until I've got ten. So once I have ten grapes, I have broken my condition that I have less than ten grapes, and I stop picking up grapes because I have finished that loop. I have achieved what I wanted the loop to achieve. Okay, so that is essentially what a loop is. All right. If a loop is not properly constructed and it and it, its condition stays true it may loop infinitely so let's say i say to another person i want you to keep putting grapes inside this box until you get a reasonable amount of grapes in this box. So it might be a box that can hold maybe 200 grapes, maybe, maybe to put 200 in, maybe they put 220 in. And because it's a human, they can say, you know what, that's a reasonable amount now. However, if I ask a machine that hasn't got any creative thinking what a reasonable amount is, that's not the, a machine can't define that. So because the amount hasn't been defined, the machine will just keep keep putting grapes into that box forever. You know, it'll probably just destroy the box and then have a completely different error. Um, another thing is, if I ask someone to keep counting the numbers until they reach the last number uh, that exists, okay? Since numbers are infinite in a sense, you can infinitely keep adding one to any number uh, uh, forever that will be an, an infinite loop because you can never find a number that can't exist so these are these are examples of infinite loops okay we can design the loops to stop looping once they have achieved something useful okay so I'm actually going to show you a while loop, and I'm going to I'm going to call I'm going to do it for that grapes analogy actually. So we'll say 
grapes in hand is my variable and I have zero to begin with okay and I'm gonna put while grapes in hand is less than or sorry not equal to 10 oh that's a bit strange while grapes in hand is not equal to 10 print I have how many grapes in hand I have Duh, 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 duh. Let's just put plus grapes in hand. Put that as a string because obviously that's an integer. Okay. And then after we print this, what we then want to do is add one grape to our hand okay so grapes in hand is equal to grapes in hand plus one there's actually a faster way of writing this adding plus one to uh, a variable but i'm not going to show you here because it's a bit lazy <laughs> so we'll run that and as you can see I've picked up grapes and I have zero grapes in my hand. I have one grapes in my hand, two grapes, three grapes, all the way up to nine grapes. Okay. And then when I have 10 grapes in my hand, I stop saying that I have grapes in my hand because I've got enough grapes in my hand. Yeah. And so that kind of shows you the grapes in hand sort of thing. Now let's assume that I just. I just decided not to increment, which means to increase uh, by one or well, well what, whatever, increase a variable. So we'll say while grapes in hand is not equal to 10, print, well, we're just going to pretty much copy and paste the print statement, okay? And I'll copy and paste this as well. We'll go down. I have zero grips in my hand. Now, this, this just keeps printing out the same statement over and over again. And if I weren't in Spider, this would probably exhaust all of my memory eventually, this program, because I'd have to remember all of these lines inside of my console of, of printouts, right? And my, my computer can execute this code really fast and so it can run out of uh, random access memory really quickly and what's happening here is yeah it's just in infinitely printing infinitely printing it's a loop with no way of getting out of itself so what's happened here is we've given a condition to this while loop okay this while here says that while the number of grapes in my hand is not equal to 10 let's print this statement okay now I've set the grapes in hand to be zero and every time it prints out this statement it doesn't add any more grapes to the hand so the grapes in the hand are always going to be zero and since zero is not equal to is not equal to 10 this statement here will always be true and so this print statement will execute forever okay so unless you want an infinite loop which there may you may have a reason to have an infinite loop but most of the time you won't want one you need a way to get out of your loop for example okay let's say as well uh, bad design can happen so let's say that i put while grapes in hand and not equal to 10 print Oops, needs to be one more backwards. Print. Well, I'll just copy the print statement again. You see how it's still running? It's still running. It hasn't stopped. It will never stop. It's an infinite loop. It has no way of escaping itself. I'm going to I'm gonna stop running this now. I'm just going to hit this, and that will manually stop it. Okay? Keyboard interrupt. There you go. So let's say that I do this. 
no problem. And this time, instead of adding one grape to the hand, I'm adding two. Okay. And someone, someone might think, you know, that actually sounds good. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll by getting two grapes at a time, you'll be able to uh, finish this function a lot quicker. Okay. Well, because we start with zero grapes in hand, if we keep adding two, grapeies, what? Grapeies in hand? Where's that? Oh my God. There we are. So because I keep adding two, I should get there quicker. Zero, two, four, six, and eight grapes. That's fine. But what happens when I just have one grape in my hand? I'll show you. It's another infinite loop. And it just I just keep ending up with thousands and thousands more grapes in my hand. Every time I print out the state. Look, I've got so many grapes, but I still haven't stopped picking up grapes. Okay. Now, the reason why that is, is because really, this is this is bad. This is bad design. Okay. The reason why this is bad design is because this should only increment by one. Because what happens is, you know, okay, so we get grapes in hand becomes equal to three, then it becomes equal to five, then it becomes equal to seven, then it becomes equal to nine, then it becomes equal to 11, then 13. Because it's never, it's never going to be equal to 10 because we're adding two to, to an odd number. So it passes 10 and it keeps going. So really what we want this to be is while grapes in hand are not equal to 10 or while grapes in hand more than or equal to i mean i'll keep this for now i'll copy and paste this and i'll show you a better way of doing this okay so we can say while grapes in hand greater than or equal to 10 right if we say that it won't run because it's not true. Grapes in hand is not equal to or greater than 10. So this, this won't run, okay? But if you remember, we can reverse this. We can reverse this whole Boolean value and make that false now. So, as long as this isn't true, that grapes in hand is more than or equal to 10, this will run. Now this way, as soon as grapes in hand becomes more than 10, It'll stop running okay so be careful with the way you design while loops by the way you don't have to use just these values you can put um help no we can put while grapes in hand equal to equal equal to um I don't know. Let's say, let's say less than 10. Okay. Let's say less than 10. Hand size equals false. Okay. Okay. Or hand size equals true. Okay. And we'll put something called hand size equals false all right okay do that more than 10 why is that not working grapes in hand that's fine ah yeah the while just needs to be that okay so we've got that so while grapes in hand less than 10 Hand size is equal to true. We can do stuff like that. Or we can just use hand size equals false. While uh, not hand size, for example, not this Boolean. Okay. Grapes in hand equals grapes in 
and plus one. Okay. If grapes in hand more than or equal to ten. Hand size equals true. Now this way, this if you look at the condition here, it's not actually dependent on uh, the amount of grapes in hand. It's actually dependent on the hand size. But because the hand size is dependent on the grapes in hand, this should actually stop at some point. Why has that not done anything? It's more than or equal to 10. While not hand size. Well, it isn't hand size. I'm not sure why that didn't happen. Um, yeah, never mind. Forget that. Just try to see what happened there. So while that, if that, yeah. So grips in hand is that. Oh, it hasn't printed anything. That's why. Sorry. I forgot the print statement. Right. I'll show you that again. I just forgot the print statement like an idiot. So if I print this, it should run the same. See how that's run the same as before? Yeah. And now that is no longer actually dependent on, I mean, it is indirectly dependent on the amount of grapes in hand, but it's actually dependent on the hand size, which is then dependent on the grapes in hand. So basically, once the grapes in hand become equal to or more than 10, Hand size equals true, which means it's hand size, and so this becomes false. All right. Sorry if that confused you. Uh, we're going to have a practice on this just because, you know, it's quite an important concept. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll try and clarify it with the comments in this on my GitHub.